Hello guys, this is Good Like, and this is the YouTube sub box. Many people have expressed their disdain for this particular functionality of the YouTube website. There's countless amount of speculation regarding whether it even works. It's widely accepted that if you really want to get every video, you actually have to click the notification bell, which, in my opinion, is ridiculous. So one day I decided that I've had enough of this shit and wrote, like, a hacky program that sort of works like a YouTube subscription box. But it wasn't very well done, and it was never really completed. So I never really released it, it was kind of slow, because I didn't make use of obvious things that I realized like months later. I decided I'll do it again, from scratch, properly this time. You know, the thing every programmer always does. But I've noticed that I tend to get bored of the programming projects when they like take too long or something like that. So I wasn't sure if I really want to get it started and then end up not actually completing it. It would feel like a lot of wasted time. One way, however, that I do know to make myself more productive in this aspect is to make a video series out of it. I think to this day I've only quit one Let's Play series that I've ever made, and it was Guild Wars 2, and I did get bored of that too. But I think that was a special case of an MMORPG, where really the end is wherever you want it to be. There's no real final point. All other games I at least got to the ending, right? So I think that a programming project will work similarly to that, in that, yeah, there is a final point, a finished application that does what you want it to do. So that's one of the main motivations behind this series. I just really want this application to be finished, and that's one of the best ways to actually motivate me to work on it, is to have a series. Even if no one actually watches it or replies to it, it's still better than just hacking away at it during the weekend or something. Now, I've given this quite a bit of thought, actually, because I've been thinking about this series for some time. For the greater part of summer, I think. And it's now middle of September. Hopefully this video will come out relatively soon. That's one of the things that I want to do with this series, is just do something, quickly edit it, release it. Unlike my other series with G-Video games, which end up pre-recorded a huge amount of time ahead, sometimes even almost a year. That That's how much ahead I can pre-record sometimes. It's crazy. So that's more or less why I decided to make this series. I suppose I should talk about the uh, problems with the YouTube sub box. It's been up on the screen probably for some time. And it has come to my attention that some people don't really see the issue, don't even really encounter it, and there's a good chance that maybe you too also don't see any problem with it. Aside from the obvious, uh, hey, maybe the videos don't appear on the sub box even though you've subscribed to someone. Which is a distinct possibility. So, enough of this still screen. Let's, let's get it started. So, I've been away for a few days, so I have now a sub box of quite a few videos. Now, I did remove some of them by doing this, by hiding them away. But in general, what I tend to do is I just immediately remove everything I don't want to watch. You would expect it to work something like this. Okay, so you have a bunch of videos. You say, well, I don't want to watch this. This doesn't look very interesting. I've seen a different take of this. I've already watched this. And this. Right, so we've hidden a bunch of videos. Let's refresh the feed. And they're gone. Right? Seems normal enough. Seems like everything is working. Let's keep going. So I haven't seen this. I'll open it in the separate tab and remove this. Uh, I guess I'll listen to these songs later on. This as well. Uh, I guess I'll watch it. I don't know. Don't really care about Call of Duty. More songs. Watch that. I haven't seen that actually yet. I uh, don't care about streams that much. 
already s well I haven't seen it but I've I don't care let's put it that way don't care seen it don't care seen it seen it seen it seen it don't care watch later seen it seen it seen it watch later seen it watch later that may not have been very accurate, but do make I do want to make it clear that even though some of them I've said I've seen them even though you can't see that I've seen them I have. It just doesn't show up. And so as you can see everything seems to work just fine right now. Eventually I will record myself removing a bunch of videos from my subscription box. Refreshing the subscription box and the video still stay. So, literally the next day, I set out to record this, and as you will see in a moment, I open up all the videos that I want to watch for at some point, and I remove everything, and then I refresh. Bam! All the videos are back. Completely ignores the fact that I had hidden them. But that's okay. We can do that again, right? It's no big deal. I'll just hide them all. It can be annoying if there's a lot of videos, but whatever. Oh, oh. oh. what's this? One of them still remains. I have to remove it another time, and then finally, after the refresh, bam. So yeah, this this is fucking stupid. All right, we're back to this. Great. So that's just the first issue. The second issue is, as you can see, there's still a bunch of videos here. A lot of them I have watched. So let's try removing these. No, uh, let's say the first row. So if the sub box does in fact hide videos. When I refresh this page, this should be the first video. Does that work that way? No, it's in exactly the same position. Meaning all of these videos we just removed are still here. And I've noticed one common denominator among these videos, and we shall open every channel here. So you can see it. And if you look at the subscriber count, you will notice something about it. You see? Every single one of these has a million plus subs. So channels with a million plus subs have their videos plastered here. Let's, let's do this one. Million plus. And... Chonet. Billion plus. And I did notice that it's either exactly a million or really close to a million because some of these videos just wouldn't appear here and then eventually they start appearing here. And that was around the time when the channel that released these videos went over a million subs. So this is a pretty, pretty tight theory here. A million sub channels are getting extra exposure. Now, if you're not like me and you don't really care about your sub box being massively overburdened, maybe you don't see the problem, but to me this is a huge problem because, as you can see, I had to open all these videos here that I want to watch and now I have to keep tabs on them, I have to put them into my bookmarks, it's, a, it's just a huge mess that I wouldn't have to do if my sub box was just clean, because I could just remove the videos I'm definitely not going to watch, like this one. I'm definitely not going to watch this. I really just don't care about it. But it's there, and if I wouldn't remove it, it would always be there, taking a place, and uh, getting in the way. I would constantly have to parse it, constantly have to skip it. If I had enough channels I subscribed to, the list could grow tremendously. Yeah, but that's one issue. Other issue is obviously that I have to manually remove videos that I've watched. If I watched a video, 
I probably don't want to watch it ever again. Unless, you know, maybe it's like a super cool video, like this one. I know it exists. I don't need it to be on here. I know that this video exists and that I can see it again whenever I want to. Reminding me here is unnecessary. If it's something less knowledgeable, maybe I want to rewatch this, for example, for some reason. If I really liked it, I could just like it, and then it'll be my like playlist. Favorite it, then it'll be my favorite playlist. Put it on watch later. Just make a playlist of random cool videos I've already seen and I may want to rewatch. I definitely don't want them to take up space in my sub box, giving me the impression that someone's actually releasing videos when they're not. And if you're gonna do this, why limit it to 1 million subscribers? Cause that, to me, that's not a big indicator of anything. Obviously, to random people, maybe it is, but to me personally, not really. Monkey Jones, the channel I subscribe to, doesn't have a million subscribers. But if I had to have any videos appear here, I'd rather it would be Monkey Jones's videos, not these random videos. Since you have to remove videos multiple times, you also kind of have to remember which videos to remove which means there's a chance that you'll make a mistake and remove a video you didn't want to remove. But since it's so easy and so quick, and the video hidden from feed doesn't actually tell you what this was, there's no way to return this. Maybe there's a way if you inspect the element and you then, like, maybe you can fix this somehow. Maybe like this. Maybe this is the ID. Let's take a look. Let's let's do this live. So we open this. Yeah. So y d there's very hacky ways to figure out what video was there. But if you do end up refreshing afterwards and it doesn't come back, obviously you're not going to know what video was there anymore. And it's really easy to do that and then realize, oh shit, I removed a video, I didn't want it. And another issue, which is a lot less of an issue, is that you can only really subscribe to channels. So if you take like this channel, maybe this one isn't that good, but this one is a good example of a channel that I subscribe to just to watch one specific thing. You can guess what it is by looking here. It's easy to figure it out. That's the only thing I want to watch out of it. But I, there's no way for me to subscribe just to that, to my knowledge. If I go to playlists, th there's a playlist for it. But I can't subscribe to this playlist. Now I understand why that is the case, it's because playlists are a bit different than a channel. A channel will always produce new videos, whereas a playlist eventually may end, have the last video. But the thing is, if you do watch through the last video, you'll realize it's the last video, and you realize, oh, there's not going to be any more videos. If I want anything else, maybe I should go look at the channel and see if I still want to stick with the channel. And if there's nothing there I want to stick for, why would I stick for it? Yeah. Why would I not unsubscribe? So what I do is I have a separate list of things here that I may or may not subscribe to. This is a good example of such a channel where, from these guys, I really just want to watch a couple of shows. Maybe one-fifth of their videos. I can understand why YouTube doesn't do this, but I don't care. That's what I want to do. I want to just subscribe to a playlist. So that will be one of the things that we will try to do with this application. So these are the issues I have with the subscription box as it is. And I want an alternative which solves these problems in one way or another. Throughout the series, obviously, if you have your own issues with the subscription box or you want some other things the subscription box to do differently, absolutely feel free to offer any and all suggestions. Later on, we may even have a more official way to offer such suggestions coming up. We'll see. 
I really don't have much planned at this point other than thoughts. So, yeah. The sky's the limit as far as whatever this functionality of this sub box could be. That's enough for this video. I think I explained the motivation behind the series and this work and the application. In a follow up video, I think I will go through more specifically what I want to do with this application, how would it work, etc., and look perhaps at existing alternatives. And uh, maybe give a reason why why not just use them? Why write your own stuff? Other than, of course, I want to write something. I want to code something, goddammit. May as well be this. So, thank you for watching, and look forward to the next video.